Hi, I'm Twyla from My Bilingual Life. I'm here to help you become bilingual. One of the things that I did to learn how to speak Spanish was to listen to music. So today we're going to do that. I do have a video explaining how I use music to learn Spanish. If you'd like to listen to that, I'll link it here. What we're going to do today is actually a couple steps in. So if you wanna follow the steps that I used, make sure to check out that video. You might wanna put this one on pause and come back to it in just a minute. The song that we're going to use to learn today is called Volver, Volver. Now the word Volver means to come back or to return. So this song is about a guy that has lost his girlfriend and he's really wanting to come back to her. This was written by Fernando Maldonado but it was made popular by Vicente Fernandez in one of his movies in 1976. Parents, I don't see any objections in the lyrics, although it is talking about a passionate love, but that's about as risque as it gets. However, the video does show Vicente Fernandez and a bartender in a bar with their horse drinking because he's so upset about losing this love. So you might wanna check it out before you decide whether you want your children to watch this or not. Now, as this video clip starts, this is actually a small part of the clip from the movie, La Ley del Monte, The Law of the Mountains, made by Vicente Fernandez in 1976. At the beginning of the clip, Vicente tells his bartender friend, Echete una. And since they're in the bar, he's saying, have a drink, have one, drink one with me. The literal translation of echar is to throw. So in this case, Vicente is saying, throw one back with me. Echate una. Echate una. Este amor apasionado anda todo alborotado por volver. Voy camino a la locura y aunque todo me tortura, sin querer. So remember, in Spanish, the adjective is actually after the noun. So este amor apasionado means this passionate love. Anda is from the verb andar. Now that literally means to walk, but in this case it's being used as a form of is. Anda todo alborotado. Alborotado is a little difficult word to translate. If you look up the Google translation, it says rowdy, but it can also mean excited, rambunctious, crazy. So this phrase means is all excited about Por volver means about coming back. So he's really excited about getting back with his girlfriend. Voy camino a la locura. Voy camino means I'm on my way. So I might say, voy camino a la casa. I'm on my way home. Voy camino a la escuela. I'm on my way to school. So this is a useful phrase that you might use in everyday language. La locura is craziness. So this is a way of saying, I'm going crazy. Voy camino a la locura. Y aunque todo me tortura. Aunque means even though. Even though everything tortures me. Now, he's not really being tortured. He's not held in chains in a dungeon. But he feels like his heart is being tortured. Aunque todo me tortura. Even though everything tortures me. Sé is from the verb saber, to know. So this is saying, I know. Querer is to love. So I know to love. Now in English, we would add the word how in there. I know how to love. Sé querer. I know how to love. Let's listen to that part one more time.
Este amor apasionado anda todo alborotado por volver. Voy camino a la locura y aunque todo me tortura, sé que nos dejamos hace tiempo, pero me llegó el momento de perder. Tú tenías mucha razón, le hago caso al corazón y me muero por volver. I don't know about you, but I love the fact that the horse is actually in the bar with them. Nos dejamos hace tiempo. Nos dejamos means we we dropped each other. We left each other. We broke up. Hace tiempo means some time ago. Now, this is a phrase that you might use with a more specific time period. You might say, hace 15 minutos, 15 minutes ago. Hace un día, a day ago. Hace una semana a week ago. So you might use that with a specific amount of time. And when we translate it in English, we would use ago. Pero me llegó el momento de perder. Llegar means to arrive. In this case, it's saying that the moment has arrived de perder, to lose. So it's my time to lose is what he's saying. Tú tenías mucha razón. Tener razón is a phrase that you'll hear in Spanish, and that means to be right. In this case, he says, tú tenías mucha razón. So that means you really were right, or you were really right. Le hago caso al corazón. Hacer caso is another phrase that is very handy to know in Spanish, and that means to pay attention to. So this means I pay attention to my heart. Le hago caso al corazón. You might say, le hago caso a la maestra. I pay attention to the teacher. Le hago caso a mi mamá. I pay attention to my mom. But in this case, Vicente is paying attention to his heart. Le hago caso al corazón. Y me muero por volver. Muero comes from the verb morir, to die. Now, we know he's really not dying. We're not talking about death. But in this case, me muero por volver means I really want to come back. This is a phrase that you might use. You might say, me muero por una hamburguesa. I'm dying for a hamburger. Yes, it's a little exaggerated, but we do use this sometimes in English too. Me muero por verte. I'm dying to see you. Now, we know in this case, no one's actually dying, but it means I really, really want to see you. So let's listen to this part again, too. Nos dejamos hace tiempo, pero me llegó el momento de perder. Tú tenías mucha razón, le hago caso al corazón. Now, this is the famous chorus of this song. And he's just repeating, to come back, to come back, to come back. A tus brazos otra vez. To your arms again. Llegaré hasta donde estés. Llegaré means I will come or I will arrive. Hasta donde estés means wherever you are. Now, in this case, estés is the subjunctive form of estar. So this is not, 
hasta donde estás to where you are. This is donde estés. So the subjunctive gives a little bit of a doubt in there. So wherever you are. Yo sé perder. Sé, again, is from the verb saber. I know. So I know how to lose. I know how to lose. Quiero volver, volver, volver. I want to come back, to come back, to come back. So we'll listen to this one more time. Y volver, volver. I don't know if you heard, she said, no vuelves porque no quieres. That means you, you aren't coming back because you don't want to. Now the rest of the song, he's going to repeat what we've already gone over. So this is a relatively easy song to learn. There's not a whole lot of lyrics to it. It's a lot of repetition. Now that being said, although the lyrics are not very difficult, the singing voice needed to sing this song is a lot. This is a great song. You'll hear a lot of people sing it in karaoke, but it does require a very strong voice. <laughs> Dejamos hace tiempo, pero me llegó el momento de perder. Y tú tenías mucha razón, le hago caso al corazón y me muero por volver. Y volver, volver. This is a very classic Mexican song. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, like I said, there are many artists that have sang this song. If you go to a live concert, many artists will sing this song in their concert. I've made a playlist of several other artists who sing this song, as well as Vicente Fernandez in a more recent version. So you might wanna check that out. I suggest you follow along with the lyrics a few more times, maybe even practice singing it. This is not the easiest song to sing but the lyrics are not too difficult. Please make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any other lessons in the future. If you have a suggestion for a song that you'd like to go over, please put it in the comments and I'll be happy to look at it. I'll see you in the next lesson. Nos vemos.